in terms of the total investment, we've got $31.5 billion in investment in childcare over the next four years. We've said to the Productivity Commission, inside that envelope, can you bring down some recommendations? There's a substantial amount of money and we can make a substantial difference. On the matter of the paid parental leave, it's a completely different policy. It's about having babies and it's about a workplace entitlement. And let's remember, because everyone thinks about paid parental leave as the dad going out to work and the mum sort of fitting a bit of part-time work around having children. There are many households where the mother is the breadwinner and if she steps away to have a child, her working wage is critical to managing that family's finances for the future. That's the workplace entitlement. The other part is the, if you like, the fertility policy side. And I meet lots of women who say, couldn't afford to have the second or the third child, but really would have liked to. And that's not good. That's not good for the country. Childcare, on the other hand, is about how you go back to work and manage your work around, your childcare around your work, not as it so often seems to happen, your work has to fit around your childcare. But there's an exciting times ahead. There is new policy coming in early 2015 and uh, I know that lots of people across Australia have had their say and we, I, I mean, it's, it's, it's going to make a difference for families. Very briefly, um, as we said at the beginning, the Productivity Commission said the money from paid parental leave scheme should go into childcare. Mm. If that is blocked in the Senate, which seems quite likely, um, mm. then uh, will that happen? Uh, is that a logical uh, use of the money that you no longer well, have to spend on that um, policy? Look, again, they're two separate policies, and I'm very optimistic that but our they paid are linked, parental obviously, leave... aren't they? Well, no, they're not, actually. They're not linked at all. No, I mean, just one, conceptually. One is a levy on 3,000 um, companies, and one is paid for in existing allocations, £31.5 over the next four years. So they're not linked, and they're about two separate areas of, if you like, related family policy. But I'm very confident that our new Senate, uh, our new senators, when they get across the detail of the paid parental leave and realise the benefits for for women and the fact that we really must recognise women's contribution, both in the home but also in the economy. Uh, every time I see a woman who's gone back to work doing less than she was trained or qualified for because she can't get childcare, I realise that the talent, the imagination and the ingenuity of half of the Australian population is in many cases missing in action and we need to bring that back and both these policies will do that. Greg Combe. Well, the paid parental leave scheme is a joke, let's face it, and <laughs> for heaven's sake, it's so inequitable and unfair, and it was a thought bubble in Tony Abbott's book, remember? <laughs> but my book's much better reading, if I can say so, <laughs> but it should not go ahead, so I certainly hope that the Senate blocks it and kills it, um, because it's dreadfully unfair. The money should either be saved or it should be put towards um, a more progressive thing that is needed in the community, like uh, affordable childcare, quality affordable childcare. Well, it's a far more, far more important Greg, priority. Uh, Labor's paid parental leave is paid <clears throat> at the minimum wage for 18 weeks. That is disrespectful of women, I'm sorry. Oh, good heavens. Were you a member of the Howard government by any chance? <laughs> The Howard government did absolutely nothing about paid parental leave. Labor introduced a scheme. It's in place. 18 weeks at the minimum wage, and I'm proud of it.